Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the ninth series of what's been storming the nation on today's televisions. It's the series where we randomly select five contestants in a public landatorial game in their very own suburbs. And only in half an hour, you guys will get to experience what may be the best series this year. It's time for Slayers! Yeah, I just finished watching it. Mm, the show's going to be on in about half an hour, so... Mm. Well, of course I'm excited to see who's going to be the next contestants. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than a bloodbath of public proportions, I say, so... Okay then, well look, I'm going to have to speak to you later, mate. My parents have left me, like, about, I don't know, a gazillion chores to do while they're on holiday, so... I kind of promised I wouldn't Project X the house. So, yeah, I'd better get on with them. Well, look, I'll speak to you later then. Hope you enjoy Slayers, of course, as I will be. So, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. What the ah? Hello, your name is Alex Falkner, is it not? Uh, yes. Congratulations, you're our first contestant for the ninth season of Slayers. How do you feel? Uh, um, uh... That's the spirit. With an attitude like that, I'm sure you could close the first place. And our crew have placed very small cameras around this area and the house. Now, Alex, I bid you adieu. The game starts now. Feel free to check out our website for more information. Bye bye. said they had a website. George Buckley. The name sounds familiar. He's my next door neighbor. A day. It took you a whole day to get a clean-up crew here. Did you even realise I've been up all night? I'm, af I'm, I'm afraid that someone's going to kill me in my sleep. Regardless, Alex, you have to wait until the clean-up crew are done for us to leave, and then the show will continue as per usual. I... I just killed someone. I've just stabbed a man in the heart. And all you can say is, oh, congratulations, feel free to check up on the people who will be soon trying to make your head an ornament. What is the matter with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I'm just doing the job I love. <sighs> well, look, without any real weapons, I feel kind of defenceless. I mean, I've only got my kitchen knives. I mean, that's not really enough. I'm glad you told us you were feeling that way, Alex. As it turns out, we've got a gun specialist. Once we've gone, I'll send them right to you. I have to go check on the other contestants now, Alex. Hopefully, we'll see you later.
Now while we wait for the Don Specialist to get to Alex's house, we can now reminisce of yesterday. We're barely 10 minutes into the show and we already have our first kill, which was George Buckley. It's a good thing our crew got them cameras up and running, hey folks, otherwise you'd be missing out on a lot. Now stay tuned folks, as I can see here that we've got a maximum of 3 million people watching this show right now. Now let's move on to the other contestants. Now we just missed another double kill of the series. We can see Matthew Bryan and Ashley Evans as they are both obliterated away during the fight. We have Ted Manson shooting Ashley Evans in the face. This means that the show is almost over as there is only one more contestant left, Alex Faulkner. But if I were you, Alex, I'd lock the door and gear up for an awesome finale. Hurricane Sandy. Superstorm Sandy leaves a trail of devastation across the eastern coast of the United States. Obama said this. You need to take this very seriously. For those of you who have just tuned into Slayers, we're watching fellow contestant Ted Manson as he suddenly sneaks in on Alex's house, the ultimate finale. Am I not surprised that you're behind this? Well, of course we are. Do you like your new hat? Oh, it's very quaint. My sort of style too. How did you know? Well, it's nearly Christmas and it's the finale of Slayers, so I'm feeling quite generous. Well, I appreciate the thought, but why aren't you here? Actually, for a matter of fact, why am I here? It's the epic finale, of course. The producers didn't like the idea of this year's series ending in a house, so they contacted me about a possible solution, and I came up with this. A big, luscious environment, perfect for bloodshed. All I had to do was give Ted here a simple anaesthetic. Even if you overpowered Ted, bloodshed is bloodshed. So we had the crew on standby to bring you here, and boom, here you are. So this is it, huh? The epic finale? Yippee! <sighs> and all I have to do 
is find Ted. It appears that Boris has already found you. I thought your name was Ted. <laughs> He's put a stage name. My name is Boris. Oh, great. A Russian with a fetish for killing people. What next, huh? A Korean obsessed with tentacles? Let me tell you, though. I completely agree with this final showdown idea. The bigger the death, the better. Well, it's not exactly a showdown, though, is it? You're just going to execute me like poor old Lenny, aren't you? To be honest, it is an honor to fight a man of matching skills such as yourself. Because at the end of the day, the fittest will prevail. And we now have our winner for Slayers, yay! First place goes to Alex Faulkner, overtaking Ted Manson, who's just been put in second place. But that's not all, folks. This isn't the end of Slayers yet. We have one more surprise left for Alex in school. For God's sakes, not you again. And how many times do I have to be knocked out? It's getting annoying. That's just the way we do things in space, Alex. But congratulations, you're our new victor. How do you feel? I feel like hell. By the way, where are we? I, I, I don't even recognise this place. This is Boris's house, Alex. We have unlimited access to this house since Boris was our assassin for the show. So you sent an assassin on the show to kill me? I'm flattered. However, considering, you know, I'm first place and I've been through quite a grueling experience. I mean, I've killed a lot of people to get here. Do I get a prize or anything? Yes, you do, Alex. You get your life back. And that is more precious than any pile of money that we'll be able to give you. Maybe this experience will give you a new look on life and you'll be a new man. So, that's it? I, I get my life back? So, no heaping piles of cash, no amazing gadgets, no holiday, nothing. I just get my ordinary, boring life back. Three billion people disagree with you, Alex. And we only do what we have to do to get paid. And if the audience loves it, we love it. So you've got your freedom now, so get out! Do you know what? I will. I'm fine with that. Because, in all honesty, you've been nothing but a crap TV host from the very start. Fuck you. Say that again. You heard me. Fuck you. Fuck your stupid little acting skills. You and your stupid TV host nonsense. Your bullshit. Fuck you. You're making a big mistake, Alex. You may have survived this season, but you may end up being in the next season. But the thing you're missing there, the main plot point that you're not getting across is the fact that you're not going to be in the next season. What? Boring conversation anyway. Oh God, quick, hit the commercials now.